Hello and welcome back to the S Pro video channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at a couple of the most commonly used intelligence features in our recorders, intrusion areas and tripwires. We're going to discuss how to set them up, how they can be used to make security systems more effective, particularly in relation to receiving notifications and triggering alarms. And we're also going to be discussing the difference between intrusion areas and tripwires the various applications they can be used in, and what situations you might choose one over the other, and even some of the most common mistakes we see when setting these up. First though, let's take a look at an example of an intrusion area and an example of a tripwire so you can get an idea of what they actually are, and then we'll go through how to set them up and in what situation you might use them. So, let's take a look at an example of an intrusion area. The blue area here on the right is the intrusion area and we might have put this here because we want to protect the car and have an alarm trigger whenever anyone approaches the vehicle as we can see here. Another example of an intrusion area might be something like this. In this example we might want a push notification to be received whenever an unauthorized vehicle parks in this space. As you can see, the system can be set to detect vehicles as well as humans, and as before, this could also be set to trigger an alarm. Next up, if we take a look at an example of a tripwire, you can see that there is a tripwire drawn down the middle of this image to differentiate between the vehicle only lane on the left and the rest of the car park, and we can see that the pedestrian is detected as it crosses over into the unsafe area. Now, before we look at how to set up these features, I want to go through when you might want to use an intrusion area and when you might want to use a tripwire so you can begin to get an idea of the kind of applications each one is most suitable for. Firstly, intrusion areas are, as we've seen, used to define a specific area. And because of this, they are particularly useful at protecting areas that are already well-defined spaces in the real world. For this reason, intrusion areas are used frequently in car parks where they can be used to cover parking spaces and entrances and exits, things like that. Intrusion areas are also particularly useful if you want to be notified when something appears within the area and don't want to rely on something crossing the perimeter of the area you've defined. With tripwires, on the other hand, you tend to be defining a threshold of some kind and you need to be notified of someone moving from one side of this threshold to the other. This could be when someone walks onto private property, for example. Tripwires are less about wanting to be notified of activity within a predefined area and are more concerned about the crossing over into that space. Now you've got an idea when you might want to use an intrusion area, let's show you how to use an intrusion area by going through its setup. So we're going to right click to go to the main menu. Once we're at the main menu, we're going to click AI, Parameters, Make sure Smart Plan is enabled and click Apply. Then we're going to go to IVS, select the correct camera. Then we're going to click Add, select Intrusion from the drop down menu and click Draw. Then we're going to draw the area we want to protect. Uh, so we'll just, for this example, we'll cover the entire car park. We can also then define whether we want to know if a target crosses into this area appears in this area or both. Uh, so I want to show you what it is like if a target just appears within this area and we won't worry about crossing the perimeter for this example. Uh, so we'll make sure just appear is ticked. Click OK. And apply. Now we've got that area set up and we've set it to only detect humans when they appear within this area, you can see it's picked up my movement around the car park even though I'm not crossing the perimeter. And as you'll see, even as I emerge from behind a vehicle for example, it sees me again as appearing within the image. Let's now show you the tripwire setup as well. The first few steps of the setup will be the same as for intrusion, so I'm just going to start from this screen. We'll select Tripwire from the drop down instead and click Draw. And then we can use this scene as an example. If we draw a tripwire down this and make it a, a vehicle only lane, we can set it up to be notified when anyone enters. And if it was an active deterrence camera, we could 
say that this is a vehicle only lane um, or as before you can set it up to send notifications or trigger an alarm. To set up push notifications in the app just push the three dots next to the system you want to set up notifications for then device details then you want to select notification and after that you'll toggle them on like so and you can then go to intrusion alarm for example and select the relevant camera you'll now be notified on your phone of any intrusion events that camera detects so we've looked at the difference between intrusion areas and tripwires gone through how to define or draw both we saw some examples of them and how to set them up as well as going through getting notifications on your phone. There are many different applications intrusion and tripwires can be used for and they allow you to customize your security system to the environment, making the notifications more relevant and the system more effective. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe so you don't miss any future videos from us here at S-Pro.